hate starting videos so much. For the past few months, you may have seen the guys and I, the guys being my bandmates and Against Current, posting updates from Warp Tour all summer. You see it? See that it says Warp? Oh no, my hair is in the way. Now, can you see that it says Warp? She's like rolling around on the bed. She got a really bad haircut actually, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cover her up. You don't have to see it. She looks really funny. You look great. She looks really weird. Right? <laughs> Anyways, for the past two months, the guys and I have been on the Vans Warp Tour. 2016. It was really exciting to be even asked to participate, to play, to tour, whatever the correct word is there. We had a lot of fun this summer, but it was also a lot of hard work. And a lot of you guys were asking me, what's Warp Tour like? Um, because there really is no other tour like it. It is a festival and it is a tour. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me give you a quick rundown. The Warp Tour is a festival tour. It is your typical music festival, you know, multiple stages, pretty much all day event, outdoors, but it's also a tour. So it's in each city, each day. An entire festival gets set up and taken down in one day. And it goes around the country and it's two months. And the type of bands that are playing it are more like alternative rock and, you know, historically there's been, I don't know. If you want to see the lineup, I would just go to the Warped Tour website because if I try to explain it, I'm just gonna sound like a doofus. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into what a typical warp Tour day was like because, you know, it is unlike anything else. Oh, and I'm gonna keep hopping in and out throughout the whole video, kind of narrating the whole thing because like the student I am, I didn't really talk about what I was doing. I just kind of filmed a lot of B-roll for the most part. There's some points where I'm like, hey guys, I'm going to lunch right now. But for the most part, I was just like, ooh, look, watermelon. Like, oh, the vegan option at lunch. Oh, the stage. So, I'm gonna talk you guys through it. Otherwise, you're just gonna be like, what are you doing? Where are you going? This is also gonna be really interesting because I haven't finished editing the video yet, yet I'm filming this talk through and I don't know what's 100% in the video yet. So, let's just see what happens. So the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is literally roll out of my bunk because I was on a bottom bunk this tour. By choice, I chose bottom bunk. I know, middle is preferred, but chose bottom. Quite liked it actually, it was like my little cave down there. Today, I decided to make some waffles. These are vegan pumpkin spice waffles and they're sick. I put peanut butter on them and they taste really good, and that's how I started my day. When I'm done making my waffles, I start doing my makeup, and I'm usually eating my waffles as I do my makeup, or whatever breakfast I'm having for the day, but I didn't feel myself eating the waffles because I didn't think you guys want to watch me eat. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. One of the hardest parts about Warp Tour is the fact that there is no set times given out in advance to the bands. We get them at 9.30 every morning, and that made it kind of hard just because we'd have to schedule our entire day after we got the set time. So there was no planning the day before or anything like that. It all just depended on what set time we had for the day. So the first thing in our schedule on this particular day was our TEI workshop. And this is where we kind of had this just open forum conversation uh, with anyone, really anyone who signed up. We kept it really open forum. So We'd have people come in asking about songwriting. We'd have people coming in asking about recording equipment and gear and software. And it was actually a really, like, a lot of fun. And then it's my favorite time of the day, and that's lunch. Take it away, Chrissy. All right, we just finished our workshop. Lloyd's got his bike. And uh, we're gonna go eat lunch now before we play the show. I think we play at 2.50 today. So um, we're gonna eat and then just hang out for the show. Okay, so this is catering. Where no cameras in catering. That's Dan. This is where everybody eats every day. Um, they always have like a vegan option. They always have gluten-free options. Well, great. And yeah, sometimes there's really long lines. Sometimes you get to just walk right up. That's a vegan option today. Brooklyn burgers. Thank you. Today's lunch has been pretty good. We've got a giant ass burger, which I've already pretty much finished. We've got chili cheese fries. We've got pasta, salad, caramel cake. Um, how about the vegan option? How are you doing? Got my vegan burger, vegan pasta salad, vegan coleslaw, watermelon, fries. Good day. 
Good healthy, very healthy. So I have a bit of time before the set. It's like one one forty two right now and we don't play till two fifty. So I'm just hanging out in the back of the trailer. I'm gonna gonna read some of my book. I'm rereading all of the Harry Potters um, right now. So after I get some time to just chill out after lunch and digest, and I'm gonna get dressed for the show and we head over to stage. So we're about to go on. This is the backstage area. And here we go. I have some footage from the show. Uh, but mind you, the audio on this little teeny camera was terrible, so I just compressed it down as much as I could just so it wouldn't blow holes in your ears. Um, but I left a little bit in there anyway, just so you could see what kind of vibe the show was on this particular day. do our meet and greet and meet and greets are really fun we got to meet a lot of people that we hadn't met before so that was a lot of fun and then we got press might be my least favorite part of the day not because I hate doing interviews, but just by the end of the tour, you've been asked the same questions so many times that it's just like, God, like, do you got anything else? Anything. So how's work tour? Good. What's work tour like? Huh? And then the classic one. What's it like being a girl in a band? Well, I've never been a boy in a band. Sorry, I'm just being a brat. But you do get a lot of fun people, and a lot of interviews are really cool. We did. Um, like one about gaming. The one we did with Hot Topic was a lot of fun. Those guys were really cool. Bo Boken actually came to one of the shows and interviewed me for his podcast and I thought that was really cool. Like I said, I didn't finish editing the rest of the video before I started filming this. So I don't know what's left for that. Oh, I do know. Anyone who knows Against the Current knows that part of where we got our start from was doing covers on YouTube. We wanted to try something different and do something a little bit more outside the box. So we were like, okay, why don't we do live covers? Back in June, we did a live acoustic version of our song, Young and Relentless, and we also did like a fan meetup with it, and it was a lot of fun, and we posted that online, and it got a really great response. So we were like, why don't we do something like this on Warped Tour too? But instead of just doing one video, we had the idea to do a series. And this ended up being called the Speakeasy Sessions. And basically, they were a series of live acoustic covers uh, the first one we did ourselves, and then the rest of them we did with other singers on the tour. Just posted one of Cold Water by Major Lazer featuring Justin Bieber with the singer from Issues, Tyler Carter. And that's on the channel now if you want to check it out. I'll put a link somewhere in here. Anyways, these are going to be coming out throughout the year. So I wanted to show you guys what setting up the trailer was like for each video. with Young Guns tonight. I think that's pretty much all I gotta say about Warp Tour. I think, I think that's it. That's a day in the books. Actually, it's like 50 something days in the books for me, but you saw one of them. And if you came out to Warp Tour this summer, thanks for coming. Um, especially if you came to our set or a meet and greet or a workshop or anything like that. If you want to check out our upcoming tour dates for our In Our Bones tour, just go to inourbonestour.com. Super easy. 
if you want to see ticket links and VIP upgrades and dates and venues and all that stuff, it's all on that website. I've also been posting more on my blog and I'm going to be posting a lot more as well as we're traveling over the next couple months. So my blog is just ChristinaCostanza.com. Also super easy if you want to check it out at any point. That's all I got. Stay warped.